Welcome to the new Globe Observer and Globe Data Entry System. We hope you'll find the new data entry system more intuitive and easier to use. There have been many changes from the old data entry system, which allows all of Globe protocols to take advantage of the work done for the four Globe Observer protocols. From your mobile device, if you are trained and a verified Globe member, you will see a new option on top, Atmosphere Data Entry. Eventually, this will include all of GLOBE's protocols. Once selected, you will arrive at the new GLOBE Data Entry homepage. This looks almost identical on desktop and mobile and gives you the ability to start a new observation, review and send your observations that have not yet been sent to GLOBE, edit and delete measurements that you've already created, and create and edit your sites. On desktop, you will not see the option to review and send observations that are saved on the computer since all measurements are sent immediately from the desktop machine. Let's start by recording an air temperature measurement at an existing site. Click New Observation, and from this drop-down menu, choose the protocol that you're interested in, in this case, air temperature. Then click Continue. If you're involved with more than one school, you'll see both of them or more listed here. I'll use my test school. The system will default to your current location. So this is where I am currently located. And you can see there is one site that's on the map just behind this little dot right here. So I can use the school site that I've already set up. It will ask you to enter the date and time and then you can enter your measurement. Once you've completed, you'll go to a review screen, which allows you to double check the date and time that are entered, and for as many protocols as you've entered, the data that was entered for that protocol. If you have an issue, you can click on the pencil icon, return to the value, and change to a new value. And once again, you'll be brought to the review screen where you will see your new value. Once you have it set the way you like, click Finish, and the data will be stored on your phone. If you'd like, you can click Send These Measurements Now, and that will automatically send your data to GLOBE. Now let's say you'd like to enter data for two protocols. Let's say air temperature and surface temperature. Once again, you'll click on New Observations. You'll choose the atmosphere, and you'll select air temperature, and surface temperature and continue. You'll choose your school if you have more than one school. And this time, instead of using the school site that I already had, my school site, I'll slide the map over to a new location and click New Site Location. The system will automatically come up with the default name, but you could name it something else. and click Save. Now the system is smart enough to know that this is the first time you've done air temperature and surface temperature at this new site, so it will ask for any required fields for those protocols. In this case, thermometer type is the required field, so I'll choose other, soil, or air. The remaining fields are not required, they're optional. You can fill them in if you like, but you don't have to. I'll go ahead and put in the size of my surface cover site and click Next. Once again, enter the date and time, enter the air temperature, and this time it shows me the next protocol, surface temperature. So I go to the surface temperature data entry form, enter the values. I can do multiple samples. And once I've entered all the samples that I have, I click the Review button. And this time when I get to the review, you see there's a two here. So there are two protocols worth of information. And I can get a quick look at the values that I've entered, air temperature and surface temperature with all the samples. If I made any errors, once again, I can click on the pencil icon and edit those values and return to the review screen. Once complete, I'll click Finish. And this time, I can go to review and edit my observations instead of sending them straight away. 
Now I'm on the pending observation pages, so it shows I have a measurement on 625 at 155 p.m. It shows the UTC time, and it shows that my measurements include air temperature and surface temperature. When I'm ready, I can click on that and send it to GLOBE. So now my data has been sent to GLOBE. I'll return to the main home page and then back to the data entry page. When entering data, you can choose as many protocols as you like. In the case of some protocols, it will automatically select other protocols. So if I choose aerosols, barometric pressure and clouds are also required. I can choose as many in whatever combination I'd like to use and the system will automatically bring up those data entry forms for you. GLOBE has also come up with a number of bundled protocols. So you see here Earth as a system bundles. You can select any of these and it will automatically select all the protocols involved in that bundle. Now currently we only have atmosphere protocols so we'll only select the atmosphere component for these bundles but once the entire system is built out it will select all protocols associated with that bundle. So I will select air quality and you can see in the atmosphere it's selected seven protocols. These are the seven atmosphere related protocols for the air quality bundle and I could continue through to do those. The system also has the ability to allow you to select just the ones you're interested in. So if I was to do barometric pressure and clouds and wind. I can create my own bundle. I can call it BP clouds and wind. And now it will save that bundle and anytime I come back I can look at my bundles and I'll see the bundle that I just created listed here and it automatically will select the three protocols that I will do frequently. Returning back to the home page, the other buttons here are very similar to the existing system. You can edit and delete previous measurements. So if I click here, I can enter a date range. We'll just look for today and click search. And I can see the protocols that I've entered today. You see the one that we just did as part of this demonstration, air temperature and surface temperature. I can edit those previous ones and you see it takes us back to the review screen where I can look at the values and then use the pencil icons to edit them and uh, submit them back to GLOBE if I choose to. Returning to the home page again you can see we can also create and edit sites so this is somewhat similar to the current system where I have my schools in this case Canyon Weather and my test school I can find all the sites that I have and on any of them I can click the edit button it will bring me to a form which will allow me to put in additional information, atmosphere metadata, surface temperature metadata. If there's photos that I've, I want to take or add to the site, I can do that here, modify the location, and then update the site. I can also create sites here. So if I want, I can add a site and put in the name and information, just like we've seen before. But I do not have to do that before entering data. Throughout 2021, we will be adding additional protocols under the remaining spheres. In the meantime, you can continue to use the existing data entry system. We hope you'll find the new system convenient and easier to use. Please contact the help desk if you have any questions or issues. Thank you.